All right, today we're going to be upgrading this uh, Hardhead Veterans uh, helmet I've had for a couple of years. Yeah, it's before I knew about the you know Chinese made parts and all that stuff, their shell anyway. But I've had it, and you know it's it's allegedly ballistic. I'm not trying to find out. Um, one upgrade it with a Team Windy Boa, which I have on my Team Windy helmet. That's a bump, uh, which I've had even longer. But a uh, you know, good deal on the HHV helmet. And picked up a, a really good deal on these uh, Peltor M Comtac XBI. Got um, kind of for like 300 bucks, and it's pretty comparable to like the Comtac Five, if I'm correct. And then got a uh, Disco 32 push to talk for it. That will work with this Yesu 65, and just a counterweight from HHV is pretty cheap. Anyway, we're gonna try this out uh, if it doesn't work out and the retention system won't work i'll probably end up just putting the uh, peltors on my uh, 1d bump helmet but uh hoping for the best okay it looks like there's these at first i thought they were rivets but these are little uh screws that use allen heads uh, right in here and over here but you got it looks like i've got to take that uh, or it looks like we have to take this rail off possibly to get to uh redo the uh, mounts here for the retention system and that takes a uh, 564 uh, allen key so uh, we'll keep going here and see how that works okay i've gotten the uh, rail off there's three mounting points and um lovely thing is when you need it to get to this screw um and for some reason they decided to put uh this screw uh, underneath the uh, Velcro, which I'm going to try to see if it'll peel out and peel back. If it won't, then I'll have to cut around it. But uh, we will cross that bridge when we get there. All right, the mounting screws for the uh, retention system are these uh, large flatheads. And we've got this little nut on the back, which is kind of sticky and kind of a pain in the butt to get out. But you can get it out with just a little bit of wiggling and light prying. Okay, we have the original retention system out and probably should have unboxed the uh, Windy system first to see what the layout is, but oh well, that's how we do it on this channel. We like to wing it. All right, so the Team Windy retention system does come with its own uh, mounting screws. Um, I'm going to try them out and if they don't work, I'll see if I can reuse the, the old ones and we'll uh, take it from there. Okay, the included, uh, included screws with the Team Windy uh, retention system are too thick to go into these holes. I don't really want to drill these out, so I'm going to try reusing the original screws. At this point, you can pretty much follow the directions, but just to give you a little tip here. Mine's an XL, so you're going to use the furthest out little hole here. So there's three, so I'm using that. And... Um, if you find that you need a little more space to work with, you can always pop this up and it'll give you a little more slack while you're trying to install. Um, also, you're going to want to touch. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, excess material you can tuck behind your uh, padding system. So just like it says right there. Okay, on the next step, uh, this retention band right here and uh, this part of the chin strap right here, we're going to go together. Uh, they recommend using the second hole, but I know from my experience, the chin straps are typically pretty tight on me because I've got a seven and three quarter inch head. So I'm going to use the one that gives you a little bit more length. All right, we've got the uh, retention scent, uh, system on. Uh, I would recommend before putting your rails back on, probably uh, try it on, make sure everything fits correctly and do all your adjustments prior to putting that rail back on in case you need to undo anything, uh, you know, change the notches on this or something. When you're reinstalling the rail nuts, if they uh, tend to start spinning on you while you're tightening them down from the inside, just put some uh, good bit of finger pressure uh, on these points right here. And um, yeah, just put your finger pressure on that nut there and that should stop it from rotating while you're uh, tightening down the uh, screw on the inside. All right, I've got everything reassembled. I tried it on. It only took a couple clicks on the BOA to get it just right. Uh, luckily the chin straps and everything already fit on that notch. So I got lucky there. Didn't have to do any real adjustments. Of 
course, you know, everybody's face and head are shaped differently, so it may take more or less adjustments for yourself. But uh, that concludes part one on this project. And uh, next part will be uh, installing the um, Peltors. All right, everybody. Um, good luck out there and see you in the next one.